Your personal medical history, including your genetic code and the, your DNA sequence, may soon become part of the public domain out into the public sphere. The World Economic Forum is an annual meeting held in Davos, Switzerland, where about 2,500 of the world's most uh, powerful and well-informed businessmen, economists, politicians, journalists, etc. get together to discuss the most pressing issues of the day. It's widely publicized. It's not a secret. Unlike the Bilderberg Group, which you know just has about a hundred of the world's most powerful of the most powerful meet in a hotel that's shut down and surrounded by armed guards, and there's not a peep in the mainstream press for 50 years. <laughs> You're a crazy conspiracy theorist if you even believe that they exist or it's important or it should be covered. But I'm sorry, that's a whole other issue. Check the playlist for uh, issues on the Bilderberg Group on my YouTube channel. But this year at the World Economic Forum. A couple people were bringing up how privacy is dead. Welcome to today, said Margot Seltzer, a professor in computer science at Harvard University. We're already in that world, she says. Privacy as we knew it in the past is no longer feasible. How we conventionally think of privacy is dead. Another Harvard researcher uh, said that it's inevitable that one's personal genetic information would enter more and more into the public sphere. We've already seen the beginning of this with the uh, hack of Sony, where Sony employees and their families' medical records were hacked and leaked into the public sphere. Now, one of these speakers at Davos said that they believe that there will be tiny mosquito-sized drones that go around and extract people's DNA for analysis by the government or an insurance firm saying that this is going to become more and more pervasive. It's not whether this is going to happen. It's already happening. We live in a surveillance state today. Yes. Oh, by the way, you think that this is just a crazy conspiracy theory. Uh, the government has been developing uh, basically mosquito-sized drones pictured here. Yes, the Air Force uh, has developed this mosquito-sized UAV unmanned aerial vehicle drone that is basically undetectable by most people. Yes, that's right. By the way, um, Gattaca, the 1997 film starring Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman, covered this bizarre... A uh, futuristic scenario where before people would decide to have a, a partner or a mate, they would have their DNA analyzed to determine whether or not their partner felt that they were uh, a quality match based on their DNA to make sure that there weren't any uh, genetic flaws in that person. And so uh, people were discriminated against based upon whether or not their DNA had any perceived flaws uh, for a potential illness uh, in, in their DNA. And so that is apparently, uh, possibly, the kind of a genetic a McCarthyistic Orwellian future that we may be moving into. And if you think that this is just crazy, oh, here's some more insect uh, drones. Yes, that's just an insect drone the size of a Penny. Yes, here is an article in Gizmodo about how uh, the Internet of Things could get you fired or ruin your life. Here, um, where it says, quote, researchers are beginning to show that existing smartphone sensors can be used to infer a user's mood, stress levels, personality type, bipolar disorder, Demographics such as gender, marital status, job status, age, smoking habits, overall well-being, a progression of Parkinson's disease, sleep patterns, happiness, levels of exercise, and types of physical activity or movement. Yes, that's right. Uh, it says here that uh, and this is this sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist here. Gee, I just reported on this years ago in my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True. Pick it up in paperback or an ebook right now from Amazon or onto your tablet. The Orwellian uh, Gizmodo article says that one researcher has hypothesized uh, 
that although, although a consumer uh, may today use a fitness tracker solely for wellness-related purposes, the data gathered by the device could be used in the future to price health or life insurance or to infer the user's suitability for credit or employment. Yes, that's right. Oh, by the way, here is a video of some Air Force drones, little uh, micro aerial vehicles uh, that they have uh, apparently developed or are developing that could just secretly go and sting people. Here it is. Just look at this. Boom! Sting them or extract their DNA. You know, in my 2011 book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True, I covered uh, an entire chapter on Orwellian weapons, uh, where there's, you know, just a patent uh, for uh, all sorts of crazy devices and uh, devices on the drawing board, such as an implantable computer chip that can just uh, kill somebody if the uh, government just wants to inject them remotely with the poison, or the plan to have electronic shock bracelets for airline passengers just in case uh, they thought that they were a terrorist. Some people actually wanted passengers on airliners to have to wear shock bracelets to get on a plane. In case they were potential terrorists, they could just remotely shock them. Taser firing robots, frozen poison dart gun. There's even plans to build robots that snack on human flesh, that literally eat human flesh. Yes, it's called Eater, E-A-T-R. Uh, it stands for Energetically Autonomous Tactical Robot. It was actually designed by Robotic Technology Incorporated, uh, which says that the robot can, quote, find, ingest, and extract energy from biomass in the environment and other organically based energy sources. That means it can snack on human beings. Yes, that is, unfortunately, the Orwellian world we're entering into now with uh, people at Davos, at the World Economic Forum, uh, now starting to realize this horrific New World Order Orwellian nightmare that we're in. There's not much time, really, to stop it. We have to stand up. We have to start denouncing and shaming these companies that are building this kind of technology before it's too late, before the dumbed-down degenerate public start begging for their micro-aerial vehicle robotic drones. Uh, to start flying around and just extracting the DNA from everybody and having the wearable technology forced onto people, coerced. Oh, we're not forcing it to you. We're just, oh, I'm sorry, we're just going to have a $1,000 Obama care surcharge on your health care if you just don't want to wear uh, the new wearable tech that monitors your fitness levels and your, your mood, your wellness, yes, your personality type, whether or not you smoke, your uh, physical activity, your sleep patterns. Yes, uh, it's just for your own good. We're just trying to look out for you. Big Brother cares about you. Big Brother just loves you. Just go on down to the Google Hospital, get wired up with that neural interface mark of the beast, and just take that implant. It's for your own good.